Shabbat Shalom at sundown. First and foremost, we give the honor and the glory exaltation to Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai. Barakoth Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai Bahasham Rika Kodash. I would love to give double honors to our apostles. Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Gabar, Elder Apostle Rekar, Elder Apostle Aramlab. Again, I'd like to give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers. In all sincerity and in fear of the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai, preaching his truth. Throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. And as always, Shalom to the hopeful elect, to the beloved brothers, to beloved sisters, and to the beloved children. All the praises is given to Yahweh, our Sham, Yahushai. Amen which means so be true. I would like to name this video WW3 will come. World War 3 will come to pass. It's inevitable. It will come. It's impossible for it not to come. This time will come. And we pray that we make it right with our Heavenly Father and His beloved Son. That we make it the first time around to enter into the Kingdom of Heaven. So remember, World War Three will come. It will happen. Numbers 23, verse 19. God is a man, is not a man that he should lie. Let's go back again. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man, the son of man, that is Yahweh Shai. Get out of these churches. It's a miracle that the Lord took us out of these churches. Man's going to the Lord. If it wasn't for the Lord, we'll still be in these churches. Praying on JC. And following the false doctrine. That's why we say double honors to our apostles because they gave us the truth, the real truth. Yeah, God is just a title. Yahweh is his name and his beloved son's name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son, his son is Yahweh Shai, of man, that he should repent, have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have his, he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Whatever the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai says, it will go. There's no turning back. So let's go there. Isaiah 55 verse 11 So shall my word that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper 
in the thing whereto I sent it. Let's go back again. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. There's no coming back. When the Lord says something, it's going to go to that place. There's no turning back. There's no shadow of turning. It's going to get to that point. We say this all the time, X marks the spot. It's going to get to that X spot. There's no way. It's going to do a little diversion. No, it's going straight to it. Whatever the law says, that's it. If the Lord says that you're going to live, you're going to live. If the Lord says you shall die, the Lord means that you are going to die. There's no turning back. The Lord does whatever he pleases him. So we have to fear the Lord because sometimes we think we're doing everything in right. But it's not what we think. It's what the law thinks. And what the law thinks, everything is done in righteousness. The law does not respect a person. When you see a baby um, just come out of his mother's womb and dies the next day, people will say, oh, how upsetting is that? No, that is not right. That's not of the Lord. Of course, that's of the Lord. Man's going of the Lord. The Lord wanted that to happen. The Lord does things in perfection. He's precise. The Lord is X marks the spot. Joel 2 verse 7. They shall run mighty men. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march every one on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Now a so-called Christian, if they read this scripture, they wouldn't even know what it's talking about. We go again. We give double honors to our apostles. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't understand how to break down these scriptures. And they shall not break their ranks. In other words, when those nuclear missiles are fired, because you remember, you know, <laughs> Yahushai is in a tail. You remember, it's the tail that guides it through. You know, the, it thrusts through. It thrusts the tail. It propels where it needs to go. It propels where it needs to go. But when that tail has finished its job, the head takes over and does the damage. The Lord Yahweh Basham Yahshai is in the tail. The Lord Yahweh Basham Yahshai is in the middle, and the Lord Yahweh Basham Raka is in the in the head. Is going to accomplish what is meant to do. The Lord, our power, is in control of both sides. He's in control of the evil and he's in control of the good. They shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the walls like men of war. And they shall march every one of these ways. And they shall not break their ranks. They're not going to miss. Nothing's going to miss with the Lord. You see, as it starts again, whatever comes out of the Lord's mouth, there's no return. There's no shadow of turning. 
whatever the Lord says, there's nothing that can convince the Lord to draw back. It's not going to return. You remember the Lord our power is perfection. Second Ezra 16 verse 13. Right? This is from the Apocrypha. And these devils try to remove the Apocrypha from the Holy Bible. Yeah, because it's all about prophecy. They don't want to see the end. It's about the end, you know, end prophecies. And even if they kept it together, you still need men to break down these scriptures. We go back to the apostles again. If it wasn't for our apostles, we wouldn't know even a name. Going back to the name. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Even the names. Yes? Going back here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hold on. So lucky. I know how to. Right. Going back into Numbers 23, verse 19. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he shall repent. You see, when you go into these churches, they teach you that the, the God and his son and the Holy, the Holy Ghost, they say the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, is all is all to get this is one. No, 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 no. They all think in agreement. They are separate. Yahweh is the Father. Yahweh Shai is the Son, the Son of Man. They're all separate, but they all work in agreement. They work perfectly in agreement. Let's go back to 2nd Ezra 16 verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that be shooteth, that he shooteth, are sharp. You see the head there? <laughs> and shall not miss. When they begin to shoot, to be shoot, to be shot, into the ends of the world. I say it again. Second Ezra 16 verse 13. And it says, For strong is his right hand. Now who is the right hand of the Father? You have Yahweh and his right hand is his son, Yahweh Shai. For strong is his right hand. Who is going to be in these missiles? Yahusha is going to be in the tail. Yahusha is going to be in the middle. The Yahusha is going to be in the head of the, the nuclear missiles. That's why it's inevitable. World War Three will come to pass. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows, right? The arrows represents these nuclear missiles. That he shooteth are sharp. You see that point, that head? <laughs> when that hits that X marks a spot, it's going to be precise. All the praises is given to you. How about Sham Yahushai, by Sham Rekar Kudash? Second Ezra 16, verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. Alright? And it's not no physical bow and arrow. How could you bend a bow and arrow, right, and shoot an arrow from one place, from one place, from one point to another part of the of, of the of the of the of the world? It's impossible to do that. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. 
It shall not miss, brothers and sisters, children. It shall not miss. They begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So World War Three will come, brothers. It will come. But we have to go through this, the main prophecies, right? Which will trigger off everything. Jacob's trouble, um, the RFID chip. And at last, it's going to be World War Three. Now, if we deny Yahweh Shem Yahshai, if we deny Yahweh Shem Yahshai, and you receive that mark, you will not be delivered out of this this World War Three. You will not be delivered. And we pray we all make it right that the Lord favors us and forgives us. Yeah, we fall short every single second of the day. I speak for myself. I fall short every single second of the day. I need to be increased in faith. I need to be increased in charity. I need to be increased in wisdom, knowledge, understanding. I need that increase. We all need that increase. So we pray that the Lord has mercy upon us. Mercy. Because I tell you what, we all know World War Three, WW3, will come to pass. But in order for you to get, to, to pass that test, to be delivered, you have to deny the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. We all have to do that. And that's a gift. That's a gift from the Lord. All the praises given to you. I pray that we endure to the end. Endure. Endure. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Whenever we endure. As long as it takes. Because we could be on fire. All the time. And the Lord can just take away, the Lord could do as he pleases. The Lord could do anything he wants to do. And what can we do about it? Fuck all. We can't do nothing about it. Because the Lord works in perfection. We pray we remain to the end. That's what the key word is. The key word is to remain to the end. Shalom, brothers and sisters and, and children, the hopeful elect.